In this video, let's learn about the lymphatic drainage of the upper limb. The lymphatic drainage of the upper limb starts with the unnamed lymph vessels, those originate in the hand and then it runs upwards towards the axilla and when they reach the cubital fossa, the limb passes through the cubital nodes. From there, the lymph vessels run superiorly and they drain into the axillary group of lymph nodes. For the lymphatic drainage of upper limb, we should learn about the lymph vessels and the lymph nodes. So the lymph vessels and the lymph nodes. Firstly, let's learn about the lymph vessels. The lymph vessels that drain the limb from the upper limb or any part of the body are divided into two groups. The superficial and the deep. The superficial vessels generally follow the superficial veins and these deep lymph vessels follow the deep veins. The superficial lymph vessels follow the superficial veins and the deep lymph vessels follow the deep veins. And the lymph collected from the superficial and the deep lymph vessels drain into the axillary veins. Now let's talk about the superficial lymph vessels. As the name indicates, the superficial lymph vessels are located in the subcutaneous tissue and they are much more in number than the deep lymph vessels and as I already said, they accompany the superficial veins. The superficial lymph vessels drain the lymph from the skin and the subcutaneous tissue and their course is upwards towards the axilla and most of them end in the axillary lymph nodes. These superficial lymph vessels drain the lymph from the skin and subcutaneous tissue. And most of them end in the axillary lymph nodes. Those are from the lateral side of the limb and the lateral two digits that follows the cephalic vein. And then they drain into the infraclavicular lymph nodes, as you can see it here. And some from the medial side of the limb, that is the medial three digits and they follow the basilic vein for the medial side the basilic vein and for the lateral side the cephalic for a video on cephalic basilic and the median cubital vein you can click on the i button so these lymph vessels which drain from the medial side of the limb and medial three fingers follow the basilic vein and they drain into the lateral group of the axillary nodes these are the lateral group of axillary lymph nodes it is the supratrochlear or the epitrochlear lymph node. This is the deltopectoral lymph node. And these are the infraclavicular group of lymph nodes. For a video on the axillary group of lymph nodes, you can click on the I button. And some of the medial group of lymph vessels terminate into the supratrochlear or the epitrochlear lymph nodes which are situated just above the medial epicondyle along the basilic vein and few lymph vessels drain the thumb end into the deltopectoral lymph node and then the efferents from the deltopectoral lymph node they pierce the clavipectoral fascia to drain into the apical group of the axillary group of lymph nodes so you can trace the course some lymph vessels from the lateral side that is the lateral two digits follow the cephalic vein and they drain into the infraclavicular lymph nodes and some lymph vessels from the medial side of the limb and the middle three digits follow the basilic vein and then they drain into the axillary group of lymph nodes and some of the middle lymph vessels they terminate into the supratrochlear or the epitrochlear lymph node and this lymph node lies just above the medial epicondyle that is along to the basilic vein and remember almost all the superficial lymph vessels of the upper limb drain into the lateral group that is the axillary lymph nodes and the lymph from the palm is drained into the lymph plexus that is on the dorsum of the hand and on the middle back of the arm and forearm there is a vertical area of lymph shed this vertical area of lymph shed is formed by the lymph vessels from the back of the arm and the forearm curve 
that is around the medial and lateral borders of the limb and they reach into the front of the limb so you can see this they reaches into the front of the limb and they form the vertical area of the limb shed and now coming to the deep lymph vessels the deep lymph vessels are very much less numerous than the superficial lymph vessels they drain structures those lie deep to the deep fascia that is the muscles the deep lymph vessels course along to the arteries and they drain into the lateral group of the axillary group of lymph nodes so they course the arteries and drain into the axillary group that is the lateral group and now coming to the clinical correlation of the lymphatic vessels the first point is the lymphangitis it is the inflammation of the lymph vessels and it usually follows the injuries that is the cuts or the pricking pin prickings to any part of the upper limb and in acute cases of this lymphangitis the lymph vessel may be seen underneath the skin as red streaks which are tender or painful to touch so these red streaks are seen in the acute lymphangitis and the second condition is the lymphedema the lymphedema means the obstruction of the lymph vessels and they may cause the edema so as the name indicates the lymph and the edema and this edema is caused due to the accumulation of the tissue fluid and now let's talk about the lymph nodes of the upper limb as the lymph vessels the lymph nodes are also divided as the superficial and the deep and now coming to the superficial lymph nodes they lie along the superficial veins <clears throat> and the superficial lymph nodes of the upper limb are the infraclavicular lymph nodes the deltopectoral lymph nodes and the superficial cubital or the supratrochlear lymph nodes so the first one is the infraclavicular lymph nodes these are the infraclavicular lymph nodes they are one or two in number as you can see it here they lie on the clavipectoral fascia that is along to the cephalic vein they drain lymph from the thumb including the upper part of the breast the second group of the superficial lymph nodes are the deltopectoral lymph nodes so this is the deltopectoral lymph node they lie in the deltopectoral groove that is along to the cephalic vein just below it pierces the deep fascia this deltopectoral lymph node is sometimes said as the displaced infraclavicular lymph node and this deltopectoral lymph node drains lymph from the breast and the adjoining structures and the third group of superficial lymph node is the superficial cuboidal or the supratrochlear lymph node so this is the supratrochlear or the epitrochlear lymph node it is also called as superficial cuboidal they lie 5 cm above to the medial epicondyle along with the basilic vein they drain the lymph from the ulnar side of the hand and the forearm and now let's know about the deep group of lymph nodes the deep group of lymph nodes these are the axillary lymph nodes those are present in the axilla and these are divided into four sets and these are the main lymph nodes of the upper limb For a video on the axillary lymph nodes you can click on the i button and the second deep group of lymph nodes are few lymph nodes those lie along the medial side of the break of the brachial artery which lie in the cubital fossa that is at the bifurcation of the brachial artery that is called as the deep cubital node and sometimes the deep group of lymph nodes are present along the arteries of the forearm 
And now coming to the clinical correlation of the lymph nodes. The axillary group of lymph nodes are enlarged, that is the lymph adenopathy, and they become painful during any infection of the upper limb. In in infection that affects the medial side of the hand and forearm, the supratrochlear lymph node become enlarged and they become tender. So guys, this is all about the lymphatic drainage of the upper limb. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.